Okay, so today I'm back in the garage. I have an issue with my truck where under heavy acceleration, I'm getting a knock or a knock or valve clatter only under heavy acceleration. And it seems to be lacking a little bit of get up and go. So, so far I've uh, taken my diagnostic scan tool. I've even had it in the vehicle with me while I'm driving and I'm getting some misfire codes, but they're random. It's the PO300 and I can watch on the scan tool as specific cylinders misfire, but it's, it's random. It's not one specific one. So it's something common. I've checked the basic things. I've checked my fuel pressure, etc. And just a while ago, I took my heat gun here, my infrared heat gun, and uh, I measured the temperatures after the vehicle warmed up for 15 minutes I measured the temperatures inlet and outlet of my catalytic converter and on the driver's side my catalytic converter seems colder on the outlet which says there's something wrong so today I've got this uh, back pressure tester and basically you take out an oxygen sensor and you screw this in in front of your catalytic converter and uh, it's going to tell me I shouldn't have at idle more than a pound of back pressure and so we're going to test this and see what's going on. So I'll uh, show you where I'm at here. So there's the uh, oxygen sensor on the uh, in front of the catalytic converter. I uh, have my tool here, my uh, sensor wrench. I've uh, loosened it off. I had to apply some heat to get it loose. So now I'm going to take that sensor out and I'm going to screw in the back pressure gauge. Oh, there we go. The uh, O2 sensor is out. And you can see by looking at the thread, it is the larger thread. They provide you two threads on this tool with two O-rings. So we're gonna put that in and uh, fire up the truck and give it a try. Okay, so I have the sensor in the vehicle and there's the gauge sticking out from under the truck. So I'm gonna grab my keys here and we're gonna start this up. So I'm running and I have essentially no back pressure, which is surprising. I expected it to be plugged. Okay, so I just surprised myself. There is essentially no back pressure there. Uh, I'm just going to verify my hose is still on, and if it is, I guess I'm chasing a ghost. Well, I guess that uh, answers the question. I have uh, no back pressure, so it's obviously good. Uh, I was convinced that catalytic converter was plugged. However, it isn't. Um, the one thing, I may check the other side, but the uh, other side, as far as temperatures go, look correct. So I'll just rev it up a bit here again. So that was 3,000 RPM, and at 3,000 RPM I'm not even getting uh, half a pound, so I have no restriction in my exhaust on that side. Okay, so I guess that one's done. Okay, so that side looked pretty good. Uh, now I'm on the uh, passenger side, so we're going to uh, start it up and rev it and hold it at a few different RPMs and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just doing a voiceover on this because with the vehicle running, I was trying to shout as to what I was doing and you couldn't hear it. So right there, I'm, uh, I went from idle to 1,000 RPM. Now I'm holding it up around 2,000, and 2000 RPM. Then I briefly get it up to uh, 3,000. And before I shut it off, I actually hold it at 2,500. And, uh, and then it drops down to an idle. So I've definitely got a problem on the passenger side. Uh, here I thought it was on the uh, driver's side, but uh, all along it looks like the passenger side definitely has too much back pressure. So uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, I did not expect this given, uh, given the readings of the, um, that's 2500 RPM there and now I've just uh, shut it off, idling and shut it off. So I'm going to, I think, uh, uh, obviously you have to look at this closely because this is totally unexpected. Okay, I'm back to the driver's side because I have to see this again now. So, starter up. 
Okay, that's idle. Thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. Okay, definitely got a restriction on the other side, the opposite size I thought. Well, all in all, uh, I definitely have a restriction on the passenger side. The uh, interesting part about all this is when I checked with my uh, temperature gun, um, the strangest thing is um, the catalytic converter on the driver's side was showing colder on the outlet than the inlet which they say is an indication that it's not doing its job. Uh, and again, I don't know how old the catalytic converter is on this, if it's ever been changed. And interestingly, the one that is hotter on the outlet than the inlet is the passenger side, and that one is restricted. So I kind of had convinced myself the one that uh, wasn't functioning was the one that was going to be restricted, but the temperature may just be uh, irrelevant with uh, the design it may be hard to measure it through the pipes in any case I'm going to give this little gauge a five-star review uh, very happy with it it uh, it sure worked and I mean I couldn't make that gauge go in the red at all on the driver's side and just touching the accelerator quickly and it was way up in the red on the passenger side so I guess I have some work to do and I've got a catalytic converter Y-pipe to change on this vehicle. So anyway, if you uh, found this useful for diagnosing uh, your catalytic converter, and in my truck, uh, it just seems to be a little bit lacking power and getting some misfires or, or knocking at uh, high acceleration. So uh, I guess I'm going to be, uh, like I say, doing the change. If you found this useful, please like the video and subscribe.